What is up guys, welcome and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Day, and on this channel, I talk about cybersecurity. In this video, we're going to be going over some career paths or some career progressions for cybersecurity analysts. This was a video that was requested by a subscriber, so um, I'm going to have to do that. If you have any video suggestions you want to see, definitely leave a comment below. I'm happy to work on those videos for you guys. So let's get right into it. Uh, let's start from the basic, you know, cybersecurity analyst from the entry level cybersecurity analyst or associate cybersecurity analyst or junior cybersecurity analyst. Uh, depending on where, whatever organization you're working at, you're going to be doing, you know, the first stage, tier one, uh, incident analysis or like triage in, uh, analyzing security events, uh, essentially just trying to bring together different information. So you're the first line of detection. Uh, so you're trying to bring to together different information and, and, and analyze for false positives or false, po uh, false negatives or like benign activity. And then from there on, you decide if you need to escalate to a senior analyst uh, for further analysis or for remediation. So this leads me to the next stage. So from junior analyst or normal cybersecurity analyst to senior security analyst. So this is kind of usually the uh, default career progression uh, for cybersecurity analysts. Uh, so after about a, between a year and three years, you can easily transition into a senior cybersecurity analyst, you know, depending on how much you've built your skills and how much experience you've gathered over the years. So as a senior cybersecurity analyst, you're going to have some sort of advanced knowledge. So, uh, you know, you might have to have some sort of advanced knowledge, maybe beyond just uh, basic triage and analysis. So maybe some level of understanding of forensics, uh, host forensics, network forensics, uh, maybe some level of understanding of incident response, uh, some threat hunting, maybe, maybe a little bit of malware analysis or vulnerability management. Uh, depending on what you do, you might have to know some level of scripting, uh, maybe like bash scripting or Python, uh, PowerShell. And then the major thing you're going to be is like an escalation point for junior analysts. So if a junior analyst is struggling with an alert or a junior analyst is unable to properly triage an alert, you're, you're the next escalation point. So you need to have some level of advanced knowledge in order to uh, help the junior analyst in terms of like triaging an alert and figuring out uh, if that is a false positive, true positive and what needs to be done. Um, in response to that alert um, you can also be uh, uh you can also have to mentor junior analysts so um this is usually kind of by default so in the process of like uh, being an escalation point for junior analysts you might have to do some men mentorship as well um so this is kind of like helping junior analysts kind of navigate their path um teaching them new skills and different things like that i um, mean also you be tasked with uh, analyzing or triaging more advanced security events. So a junior analyst might be analyzing maybe events like, you know, phishing events or scanning activity. But as a senior analyst, you might be analyzing maybe malware events or like ransomware events or more advanced uh, security events uh, like that. So that's kind of the first uh, cybersecurity career progression that is usually the default one, senior security analyst. Next, we have the incident responder. So this is another one uh, that is uh, one that uh, junior security analyst or security analyst kind of transition into after a year or two years or three years so this this part is going to uh, cover various things from detection and analysis containment eradication and recovery uh, reporting because you're going to be creating reports for your uh, incident response uh, you also have to understand the minor attack framework because you're going to be mapping out different stages of uh, an attack or different stages of your response to the minor attack framework you would also have to understand uh, the cyber kill chain as well. Uh, that kind of also aligned, uh, aligns with the MITRE attack framework, kind of understanding what stage of an attack uh, an attacker might be, or what stage uh, of uh, what stage an, uh, an attacker might be in your network. Uh, you could also need some knowledge of like forensics, threat hunting, malware analysis, and scripting, depending on whatever organization you find yourself and what your job duties are. So from your skills of like triage and alerts and looking at different security events uh, in SIMs and like uh, hosts and everything like that, that can really help you uh, you know, get the foundational skills to become an incident responder. Uh, the next one we're going to be looking at is a forensic analyst. So this is a more uh, specialized role. So you can be dealing with different kinds of forensic investigation from network forensics to memory forensics to uh, mobile forensics to cloud forensics, different kinds of forensics, uh, depending on whatever organization you find yourself or whatever your job roles are. You might also have to have some skills in like malware analysis or reverse engineering, uh, understanding of different attack and intrusion vectors, uh, data extraction, and also cyber laws. Because if you're doing forensics, you're going to be having to deal a lot with like 
uh, criminal investigation or dealing with, with like legal entities. So understanding some under having some understanding of cyber laws is going to be uh, helpful as well. So with your knowledge of you know working as a security analyst, triaging events, uh, looking at different logs from different uh, hosts, uh, looking at different artifacts from different hosts, you kind of have some baseline knowledge that can help you become a better forensic analyst. Another uh, career progression uh, from cybersecurity analyst is to becoming a security engineer. So this is uh, another kind of specialized role. And a security engineer comes in different forms. So first, a uh, cybersecurity engineer, you can um, transition into is to a detection engineer. So essentially, create detection rules for attacks and vulnerabilities and also uh, doing threat research to augment detection cases. So your, your job is essentially uh, finding new ways to detect uh, uh, to detect different attack vectors or vulnerabilities. Another one is uh, being a SIM engineer. So uh, of course, as a cybersecurity analyst, a lot of your job function requires working directly uh, from a SIM, you know, analyzing and triaging uh, alerts from a SIM. So being a SIM engineer, you're gonna be developing content and SIM rules for detection. So you're essentially creating the rules and the alerts and different things like that are, that the cybersecurity analysts are gonna be using to analyze and triage security events. So you're gonna need uh, skills like Linux because like a lot of uh, a lot of backend tools, a lot of backend um, systems are run on Linux. So you have to understand how Linux works. Cloud as well. So you're you're gonna be analyzing. You're gonna be uh, having to maybe uh, to, to log cloud data or you're going to be having to provision your sim in the cloud so understanding, understanding cloud is going to be important i'm also like sigma for like threat detection regex for you know parsing data uh, python for scripting and automation and also understanding the query language for this for the sim so for example if you're using splunk you have to be able to understand uh the splunk, the splunk uh query language uh, if you're using like maybe azure sentinel you have to understand the custo query language so having an understanding of the query language for the sim you specifically work and it's going to help you be a better sim engineer also you're going to be in charge of like sim administration and sim tuning so essentially if uh, if analysts have like use cases or have uh uh some sort of like alerts that is like constantly being a false positive and use that needs to be tuned uh, as a sim engineer you're going to be working on tuning those alerts to make them more efficient um also you're going to be working on ingestion normalization cor correlation and aggregation of different log sources that are going to be uh, they're going to be administered in the sim and also uh, just like a detection engineer you might also have to work on threat research to augment sim use cases so the next one uh deviating from the sim engineer is the edr or uh, antivirus engineer or av engineer so this is these are all security engineers by the way so uh, sim engineer uh, detection engineer uh, ad or av engineer they're all security engineers so as, as an ad edr or av engineer you're you're pretty much also developing content and edr rules for detection so you're going to need skills like linux or like yara for like threat detection or creating rules for detection you're also going to be in charge of like uh, ADR administration administration and ADR tuning. Uh, also going to be working on threat research to augment your ADR use cases to ensure that you have um, you have you know up to date uh, threat analysis or threat feeds or up to date information that is going to help you with your detection of uh, a malicious activity in your on your hosts or your endpoints. Uh, uh, and then the next one is going to be a cloud security engineer. So this is another kind of security engineer where uh, you could be doing different things. Cloud security engineering roles are not really siloed into specific things. There are different uh, routes that cloud security engineer uh, can, can go. So you can be creating policies for the cloud. You can be working on um, identity and access management security. You can be working on containerization and container security or data security. You can also work on cloud monitoring or cloud compliance. So you might be working with like PCI compliance or like uh, different forms of compliance based on what organization you work at. So you're gonna need skills. Of course, first of all, you're gonna need skills in the cloud provider you're working in, either AWS, Azure, Google Cloud, Oracle, whatever cloud provider you're working in. You have to be really, really solid and understand the different services and how this cloud provider works. You also have to understand Linux, Python, Docker, Kubernetes, and other forms of containerization technologies, Terraform, and also compliance standards if you're gonna be doing cloud compliance. So the next and final, uh, uh, position or final security uh, sort of like career progression is a uh, penetration tester. So this is pretty uh, another pretty common role, just like a cybersecurity analyst role. So as a penetration tester, you, you're going to be, you know, working on different things, depending on whatever your role defines from social engineering to network penetration tests, to web app penetration tests, to mobile penetration tests, vulnerability and threat analysis. So depending on whatever your role requires, you might be doing, uh, you might be 
having to do various things. So as a penetration tester, you know, you're doing a lot of threat analysis and from your skills as a security analyst, understanding how, uh, you know, these different security events or security or threats or vulnerabilities look like from uh, the defensive perspective, you can also apply that knowledge to, uh, you know, become a better penetration tester or to, you know, become a penetration tester. So the baseline knowledge you get from becoming a security analyst helps you trend, uh, helps you uh, kind of have a different perspective and, uh, and 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 a better understanding of uh, other roles when you eventually transition into those roles. Um, another one I didn't mention was like a threat hunter, but this one kind of combines uh, different skills, maybe from like a um, senior security analyst to uh, incident responder to forensic analyst. Like all of these different roles could uh, combine together to become a threat hunter, or could also have some threat hunting responsibilities side by side. Then another bonus mention is a security consultant. A security consultant can be pretty much anything. So as a security consultant, you can be doing different things depending on whatever position you find yourself. You can be a forensic consultant. So you can be a forensic investigator or forensic analysis as a security consultant. You might be a penetration tester doing security consulting. You might be a security, a senior security analyst during security consulting. You might be a cloud security engineer during security consultant. So it really varies depending on whatever organization you find yourself or whatever your job roles or job functions uh, or how, how they're defined. So those are the different uh, career progressions for cybersecurity analysts. Uh, let me know in the comment section below what your thoughts are on these, uh, what your plans are, are as a cybersecurity analyst who is trying to progress or go into more advanced roles. Like I mentioned in this channel, uh, my goal is to get more into cloud. So for me, it would be more cloud security engineer. So that's it for today's video. If you like this video, please be sure to leave a like. And if you're new to subscribe, please be sure to smash that subscribe button and be sure to turn on your post notifications so you can be notified when I drop new videos. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.